I'm lying on your back and we're gonna take a moment to dive in the space. So take a deep breath in and an audible exhale out. <sighs> Don't be afraid to make some noise. Deep breath in, audible exhale out. Gonna arrive. Take a moment to feel your breath. Take a moment to listen to the sounds around you. That you are in such an amazing, beautiful space. And then just take a moment to uh, acknowledge where you're at emotionally. Uh, there's a lot going on, and there's no judgment. It's just acknowledgement. Just becoming aware of what's happening. And then take a moment to acknowledge what's happening physically. So if you got something going on in your body, just become aware of that. And then draw your knees into your chest. Give it a hug. And then roll yourself from side to side. Small gentle movements. And then let that go. Unfurl. Okay. You don't need to worry about whether you're doing anything right or wrong in this class because there's really no such thing as right or wrong. It's more about breath and sensation and feeling good in your body. And again, draw your knees into your chest and then draw your nose up to your knees, squeezing those internal organs. And then release the torso back to the ground and place your hands on the tops of your knees and make small circles in one direction. Slow circles, like just massaging out the lower back. And then switch the direction of those circles, easy does it. And then come back to center, knees back together. And then bring the knees wide and around and in. Wide and around and in and wide and around and in. Opening up the hips and the hip flexors. And then switch the direction of those circles. Remember, no right or wrong way to go. And then draw the knees back into the chest and begin to rock and roll forward and back. Forward and back. Forward, back, nice, and forward, and back, and then come onto hands and knees, and separate your knee tip distance and your palm shoulder distance, and just kind of take a moment to ground down through your palms, spread your fingers nice and wide, pressing the digits and the webbing between the fingers into the ground, and then begin to rock your tailbone side to side, and close your eyes, because there's nothing you need to see it's about breath and movement. Rock from side to side. And then begin to move in a circular direction, down and around. You feel free to move organically if that's calling out to you. If you've got some kind of shape in your body you want to create, feel free to go there. Breath and movement. And then come back to center and switch directions. Circular. Maybe your head and neck circles too. Maybe you close your eyes. Got a deep breath. Feeling the knees inside your body. Nice. And then come back to center. And we do a little cat and cow. So we're going to inhale, arch up, look up, and exhale, curl. Keep going, using the rhythm of your breath to initiate the movement. You may be faster or slower than your neighbor, but it doesn't matter. All right, you don't need to look around and judge. Just move and breathe. So nice. And then come back to center and extend your right arm out. The right thumb's going to be internally rotated. The right thumb's going to 
and then extend the left leg behind you. It's easy, easy breathing, gentle movement, right? And then draw your navel in, whoop, kind of rounding, and flex the back foot and push, and then extend through the fingers. So now this is full body integration, it's stretching and reaching, and then let that go. And then side, left arm, externally rotated to a thumb points up. And then when you're ready, extending the right leg behind you. Now flex the foot, push, draw the navel in. So you're kind of rounding to protect the spine and then extend to the fingers. Reach, reach and grow, reach and grow. And the left leg. Now we add on a little movement. Right arm, left leg, inhale. And then elbow the knee, exhale. Inhale to grow and reach. I knew that was going to come. Exhale. <laughs> I was just waiting. Yeah, Inhale and exhale. Go slow, like you're going through water, right? It's not about fast or anything. It's really just about extending and warming up the body one more time, like this. And then let that go. And then switch sides. Left hand, right leg. Inhale. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale to reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Exhale, two more times. Two more. Last one. Oh, yeah. Warming up that body. So nice. Let that go. And just kind of waggle. Side to side. And then touch your toes and lift your hips. And come into your first downward facing dog. Let your knees be bent and then reach your hip and your tailbone up towards the ceiling. So bent knees, long spine. Shoulders are relaxed. Heels are up off the floor. Come onto the balls of the toes. Bend the knees a little more. Lift the sitting bones higher. And then pedal out the feet, bend the right knee, sink the left heel down. And then switch, so just kind of warming up the bones. Feet, let the head be heavy, let it go. Shake the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Okay. And then on an inhale, you're going to reach the right leg up and back. So no big deal, just kind of reach and stretch and push, and then lower the leg. And then switch side, left leg up and back, reach and stretch and push. And then lower the leg, so nice. Line up your pinky toes with the outer edges of your mat and begin to walk your hands midway towards your toes. So you're stacking your hips up over your heels and clip your fingers and rock your, your torso forward and back. And rock forward and back, long spine. Hold back, so nice. And then walk your hands all the way back to your feet. And put a micro bend in your knees and grab a hold of your elbows and let your torso hang. Shake your head, yes. If you want to work with completely bent knees and go squat, feel free to go there. Work about what works in your body. It's not, there's no right or wrong way to go. I try them all out, straight leg, bent leg, squat, go through the whole sequence, see what feels better in your body. Nice. And then you're going to rock from side to side. And then release the arms and clasp them together behind your back and draw those arms up and over. And then bend the knees, go come into a squat, the arms keep reaching overhead. Just bend, bend, bend and reach, bend and reach, getting those shoulders. Drop both arms down to one side, you're gonna dip the shoulder. And then drop both arms down the other side. One more set, to the right, to the left. And then release the arms and just hang, take the both. And then, so painfully slow, you're going to inch your way back to the, and I mean so painfully slow, like this, 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 
walk your fingers up towards the front of the mat. If you're halfway there, come back. <laughs> I know some of you. And then just kind of notice when the weight begins to shift from the lower body to the upper body, keeping your heels grounded as long as possible. If at some point they need to come off the ground, they do. Downward dog is not heel to ground pose. It's long spine pose. And then heel toe your feet back to hip distance. And then on an inhale, reach the right leg up and back. Reach, 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 and push, reach, and push. And then step it between your hands and drop the back knee down. And then draw your torso up. Down from the top. So you can tuck the back toes for stability or not. Go right or wrong way to go. And then you're going to just kind of rock your torso forward and back and straighten your legs. Like, whoop, whoop, or in the joint. And then reach the arms back, pass the hands of the big thumbs. And then on an inhale, you're gonna like reach, 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 reach. And then next time you're gonna push. inhale to reach. Like for the bend. Whoop, whoop, inhale to reach. Like for the bend. A little bit of the back bend going on, kind of warming up the upper thoracic spine a little bit. Yeah, if you shake from side to side, that's good. And then release the clasp and then reach the right arm down. It's okay if you don't touch the ground, right? Yeah, like this. And then the No right or wrong way to move. Just start opening up that side body, the rib cage, the upper thoracic spine. Oh, and then release that straight leg. Little hamstring stretch, so micro bend in the right knee. And if you hyper extend the leg, you are hurting the knee joint. A little, yeah, feel free to modify anything and everything. Right? That's what it's all about, because there is no one size fits all. So, Mitch, you may want to grab the two blocks. And place them on either side just because you have them, right? And then stay in the front leg, yeah. And when micro bend, can you just like micro bend? And then just kind of lift the sternum bone and reach. Where's the breath? Remember, the breath is the way to calm and quiet the mind. Release the blocks if you have them. Rebend the front knee. Back the back toes on the front palms. Where are you? <laughs> Stay on your mat. Stay on your mat. Stay on your mat. Tuck the back toes under. Press step the right foot back to meet the left. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Feel up the feet. Double maker. <laughs> Inhale the left leg up and back. Reach, 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 reach. Step it through. No, it's all good. Drop the back and fall. Oil back and forth. Ozzy. Come up. And then cross the thumb together the opposite way. That's the hardest part to cross. Inhale. Exhale. So you're creating a little bit of a back bend. Inhale to reach. Exhale, pull the arms through the gates, so the heart through the gates, the arms. Inhale. Exhale. If you need to tuck the back toe under, you right. One more set. And then release the left arm. So now you have those blocks. You could use those blocks. All right. Actually, blocks are really helpful. Yeah. And then we can like, oh. 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 And then we just the other side. Watch the blocky. Open, open, open. And then straighten the front leg. Micro bend in the knee. It's a hamstring stretch. All right, so 
The sternum bone lifts and reaches. Feel free to modify absolutely. And then flex the toes and draw them towards you. And then release that. Plant the palm, put the back toe under, step the left foot back to meet the right, go forward. Pedal, pedal, pedal. <coughs> Opposite is right there. Step between the hands, then step the left. Place your hands on your shins. Michael bend your knees. Press your shins back. Notice what that does to your torso and your hips. On an inhale, you're going to arch up, look up, long spine. On an exhale, you're going to forward fold, let it go. Simple jumps like that. Palms on shins, press the shins back, lift the torso. Two more times. Palms on shins, press, reach, and then fold. Last time like that. Shins, press, torso, reaches. Fold. Bend the knees, ground down through the legs and the, and the feet, and slowly roll up the spine one vertebra at a time. Rounding down through the legs, never a flat back, always a round spine. Rolling all up, beautiful. Yeah. Grab a hold of your left wrist. Reach up, 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 up. And then you go. All right, a long way to go. Now notice if one hip is uh, forward, like for me, my left hip wants to go whoop, right? I bring them both back. Try to get even equal weight on both feet by pressing the legs down and engaging the thighs. And that's about the center. So no right or wrong way, just awareness. Up first, up, up, up. Engage the legs. So one hip might want to come with it, right? I'm going to just bring that hip back. Come on, hit, come on back. <laughs> Let's let it go. We're going to exhale all the way down to the ground. A couple of sun salutations to warm up. Inhale, arch up, look up. Exhale, step the feet back, top of the push up, pause. Take a breath in, ride the breath out all the way down to the floor. Uncheck the toes. You're going to lift the shoulders round, forward, round, and press them down. Forward, round, and press them down. Oh, that's so good. Forward, down, and press them down. Now press the palms to lift the torso to come up. And then let that go. So a couple of different ways to come up you get to choose from here on out. You can tuck the toes, lift the torso, keep the knees bent, press the hips back and find your way to dog, or you can just muscle it. Right up off the ground. Your choice. Feel free to mix it up. Pedal out the feet, bend one knee, sink the heel, bend the other knee, sink the heel, beautiful. Ooh, step the left foot between the hands, bend the right. So if your hands don't come easily to the floor, they come to your shins. Inhale, arch up, look up. Exhale, bow. Bend the knees. Welcome, roll up the spine. Come on in, do what you, what you need. Inhale, 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 forward fold, exhale. Long spine on the inhale, step it back on the exhale, top of the push up, pause to breathe in. Lower on the breath out. Inhale, baby, baby cobra. Super baby cobra. Exhale. Inhale, a little fire in the cobra. Exhale. Arm in the cobra ladder. Inhale, a little higher. Exhale. Maybe halfway. Exhale. Maybe all the way upward facing. Maybe not. You choose what's best in your body. If you're upward facing, you're shifting the hips from side to side. Opening up that, ooh, open, open, open. Lower all the way down. This is where you get to choose. 
try to muscle your way up, and you press back to child pose and dog. Ready? Exhale back. Then left feet, pedal, pedal. Nice. Step the right foot between the hands, then step the left. On an inhale, arch up, look up. On an exhale, hold. Coming up to standing, bend the knees, round the spine, never a flat back. Nice, hands to the front center. Down you go, exhale. Long spine on the inhale, arch up. Step it back on the exhale, pausing at the top of push up. Just inhale. Widen the breath on the exhale down. This is where you can choose either straight into upward facing or baby cobra. And then exhale back down your dog and curl out the feet. Then straighten. Then Okay, so we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Gazing at your hands, step or jump your feet to meet your hands. Exhale, bow. Inhale, rise and to standing. Reach, reach. Exhale, right reach to the heart center. Last one. Make it good. Inhale, I'm looking at you. Exhale. Long spine, arch up, inhale, step it back, exhale, top and push up, pause to inhale, can you ride the breath out, exhale, inhale up, exhale back. Come lock the feet, then one knee sink the heel, then the other knee sink the heel, a couple more times, make sure that feels good, bones and feet. When you're ready to step or jump your feet to meet your hands. Look up. Inhale, rising to stand and bending the knees, pressing through the feet, reaching through the palms, pulling in the heart center, close your eyes. Eyes closed, shift your weight towards your toes, shift your weight back towards your heels. Shift your weight towards your toes. Shift your weight back towards your heels. Now find the plumb line. Uh, find where the weight is right beneath the arches of your feet. And then press the feet down. And lift the tops of your thighs, release the palms, the arms down by your sides. So we find Tadasana now, mountain pose, soft Tadasana. So no this, none of this, no this, right? None of this, it's more. So when you shift your weight a little bit back towards your heels towards the back body, you're going to feel the whole body begin to move back, right? Then you plug down to the feet. Press the feet down, lift the top of the thighs, lift up to the crown of the head, keep the teeth reaching, now engage the fingers, press, whole body in a shift. Keep reaching, keep reaching, nice. Turn the palms up on an inhale, we reach up. On an exhale, we pour hold. Inhale, long spine, arch up. Exhale, step it back. Do a little core work. Dropping down to the forearms. So you can either uh, cross the hands together or you can parallel your palms. Right? This is a little easier. Take your derriere and bring it down. <laughs> Removal and pull them in. Take your gaze forward. Lift through the sternum bone. Press the tops of the thighs up. Press the heels back. The torso. Now the navel in. This is uh, also all five low back strategy 101. So the legs in. Let it go. More like that. In. Let it go. Beautiful. Last one like that. In. Let it go. Beautiful. Step close. Left one. Right one. Come. Come. 
you're on warrior two left side walk the left foot further out turn the back toes further in right, and we do this whole business where we straighten and we bend and we straighten and we bend turn around everybody make sure they do sorry i'm talking all to the left straighten bend straighten so one more like that and then walk the left foot towards the center
forward. Line up your palms directly under your, your wrists directly underneath your shoulders. Some of you can walk your feet back towards your toes. So there's something for everybody here. On an inhale, you're going to press your hips and engage your legs and lift through your sternum bone. Press the palms, lift through the sternum bone. On an exhale, bend the elbows. Let the head shake a yes. Should we know? Come to hips, bend the knees, round the spine. Round, round, press into the feet, round the spine to support the lower back. Beautiful. Arms reach. Exhale, grabbing the ankles this time. Inhale, long spine, arch up. Exhale, bend the elbows out to the side. Pull your torso in and out. Oh. And come to hip. Inhale, roll up the spine, bent knees. Last variation of the pose. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, clasp the hands together behind the back. On an inhale, you're going to arch up, look up, take a couple breaths here in the back bend, opening through the shoulders and the upper thoracic spine. One more breath. And now come up and come over. And then bring the arms overhead. Oh, feel free to work with bent knees if that feels more grounding and supportive. Have a nice breath. Arms, toes out, heels in, toes out, heels in, hands come to the tops of the thighs, press your torso up, squat down, squat, hang into your shoulders, just kind of hang into the shoulders, and now we circle forward, around, and down, forward, around, and no right or wrong way to go, just release any tension in the shoulders, neck, reverse the direction. Now we dip the right shoulder down, forehead to left knee. Come up, switch sides. Left shoulder down, forehead to right knee. Two more times. Switch. Come back to center. Hands at the heart. Torso straight up and down, sink into the legs. Sink, sink, sink. See the ka. Martial arts, we stay in our center. We breathe. We dig deep. And then release the palms. Press the feet down into the floor as you straighten the legs and reach the arms overhead. Press down to the legs, reach up through the arms. Heel toe the feet together. Heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Heel toe. No idea what time it is. Oh well. Come down onto a comfortable seated position. It's almost 10, right? Now twist to the right. Twist, twist, twist. 
side of the left knee and notice if you lean back to do that you want it to be sitting straight up so the crown of the head lies right up against the tailbone inhale pause exhale as you empty just a little bit more inhale pause exhale empty and squeeze a little more one more time inhale exhale empty squeeze 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 Beautiful, come back to center. Down the legs, shake them out. <coughs> so this is not about torso to the top to uh, top to thigh toes. It's not. Right? This is about long spine. Yeah, so as soon as you I did that, you all just do a couple inches. Right now, take your, your knees much and press them down. So for the, the pose for you, it's all about the legs, not, not even in the torso. It's stretching those hammies. You're very good all this time. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're my metronome. <laughs> you think you got crazy? <laughs> and now come up. Remember, this is the best pose. The way in the poses are secondary. The breath, the breath, listening to the sound of the breath, right? Breathing hard, listening to the sound of the breath. That's what quiets the mind. That's where I am. That's the joy in yoga for me. Inhale, exhale. Don't be greedy. Don't push, don't force, don't toggle. Take the elbows and let the elbows guide you down. Breathe into the back body, breathing into the side body. So it's not torso to top of side toes. Right, so press the top of the side down. That's the foot. And then notice what that does to the spine to the torso. You get a little bit more to stretch. Maybe at the front of the back. 
breathe into the side body, breathe into the back body. So when we do forward fold, it forces us to breathe out our back body and side body. It's really powerful. Good stuff. Come again. And then come up. And now we go as wide as we're going to go in the hips today. Definitely. Wide as you possibly can. So make sure it on the <laughs> Next time for the block. <laughs> okay, so in this pose, we discover the shape of our hips, right? If we're lordotic, right? Or if we're the opposite of lordotic. <laughs> And so there's no right or wrong, it's just how we're built and everybody's different, right? So you're gonna to wanna to kind of lift yourself up a little bit and see if you can move that hip bone towards the back a little bit. <coughs> and now you get a couple choices here. You can Crawl yourself down to your elbows if this feels good. For some of you, just being up here is challenging enough, so Mitch, that's why I'd say. But otherwise, it's not enjoyable anymore. It's like, don't ever bring me to yoga again. <laughs> now I know why I don't go to yoga. Right? So, ah, uh, breath is where you quiet the mind. It's the mind stuff, right? Thanks to uh, yoga text says, okay. yoga chit chitta vritti naragaha. Yoga is the science of quieting the fluctuations of the mind. You know how the mind just goes beep, beep, all over the place. The breath part of the yoga practice is what helps you quiet the fluctuations of the mind. So it's not about just the pose, it's the mind, body, spirit. The spirit part is learning how to breathe, how to focus your awareness on the breath. And through that process, you begin to quiet the fluctuations of the mind. And that's really powerful stuff. And call yourself up, right thigh, right forearm, top of right thigh. You're gonna internally rotate, and that'll internally rotate, externally rotate your shoulder. Yeah. For some of you, this is it. You're gonna stay here, and then you're gonna reach the left arm up. And notice how it stretches both sides of the waistline. Some of you can now take your right elbow and come to the inside. If this is too much for you, you stay here. So there's a little something for everybody here. Yep, that's where we're going. Keep, keep it flexy. That's where we go. But that's not, there's no right or wrong way or that's the pose, right? It's whatever works in your body is the pose. And now ground down through that opposite hip and notice that'll take you right into that opposite side body, right? Like instead of jumping fully into the right hip flexor, you ground down through the left hip. No, baby. <laughs> and, uh, 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 uh. Leave it, leave it. Okay, the other way. Oh, so good. And then face the Some of you, you're going to be up here. That's good. A lot of work going on. Okay. Some of you want to try this one. And then come up. Left forearm, top of left thigh. So you externally rotate that shoulder joint. This is internal, some weird constitution stuff going on there. Externally rotate, you can begin to feel the whole sternum open. Right? Those of you who can go deeper, go deeper. You can skip the little four bone thing and then reach the 
right arm up. And then notice if you're jumping into that left hip socket, right, and then ground down to the opposite. It might take you a little bit out of the pose for a bit, but that's okay. Because you're now stretching on both sides of the waistline. And then if you can bring the left, so the full extension, some of you are flexi flexi. The full extension of the pose is the left hand grabs the left foot, right? And then you reach over. Oh. Breath. And then come up. Uh, now face the leg. Face it. Face that leg. <laughs> I know my jokes are corny. <laughs> if I'm not having fun, right, then it's just hard work. And who wants that? Right. See, so I try to make you laugh and try to make you focus on your breath instead of your empty mind. And now come back up. And now last time to go down the center line. Deep belly breaths. I'm gonna pull your stretch down. Uh, bring the shoulder to the shoulder. Symmetry. Last time, shake it, shake it, shake it. Or just maybe you get a little more extension. Come up. Feet curve, articulating with the feet curve. One vertebra at a time. If you have a bad back, skip this. Come all the way down to the ground. If you don't have a bad back, flex the feet. Yes, do the balls of the feet and the toes, press the thighs down, support the lower back. One breath, one vertebra. Feet curve. When you arrive, you arrive. You draw your knees into your chest. When you come all the way down, you arrive. Ah, draw your knees into your chest. Mm. And in and out, bring them up and down, and in and out. Nice. Draw your right arm out to the side like a T. Start by, by sweeping, by shifting both hips to the right. Then lower both knees to the left. That way you line up your tailbone or your hip with the crown of the head and your spine is straight. Nice. Circle the right wrist one way. Circle it the other way. Wow. Bring your left palm to the top of your right hip. Right? And then press that hip away from you. And then bring the left arm back out to the side like a T. And now we straighten the right leg to the side and push and flex. And then a couple times, just straightening the leg, pushing and flexing and bending. One more set, push and flex and bend. Now find stillness for a couple breaths. And then roll back onto your back, draw your knees into your chest. 
take a moment here. Don't be in a hurry. Oh. When you're ready, draw the left arm out to the side like a T. Dribble both hips to the left first. And lower both knees to the right. That way your hip is in line with your shoulders. Take it a lot this one way. The other way. If you like that hip variation, right palm comes to the top of the left hip and you push it away from you. When I do that, I can feel my lower back lengthen. And then the right arm back to the side like a T. And then we straighten the left leg and push and flex and then bend. Step it comes like that. We sit and push it flat and bend. And then and then we come back to stillness for a few breaths in the side kick. And then roll back on the back. And then place the soles of the feet flat on your mat. Separate your feet with distance. We do a little dynamic bridge to start. You're going to lift your hips and your arms overhead on an inhale. And on an exhale, everything lowers back down to the ground. A couple times like that. Lift and reach with the hips and the arms on the inhale. Lower on the exhale. Go at your own pace a couple times. Let it feel good. Dynamic bridge. When you're done with dynamic bridge, you find bridge and stillness. So a couple different variations of bridge for you to play with. You can grab a hold of the sides of your mat. You know, and bridge. You can clasp your hands together behind you, or you can just leave your arms dangling by the side. No right or wrong way to go. Find one, a variation works best in your body. And then when you come up, you stay up for five to seven breaths, pushing the heels into the floor, softening through the torso, so rib hip connection. So you lengthen through the lower back and the tailbone. Knees internally rotate. Press the ball, the big toe down, the whole foot down. Two more breaths. Let me go. Draw the knees into the chest. It's oh. the head that takes the feeling. Left and point. Yep. point. Circle the ankles one way. Circle on the other way. And then bend the right knee into the chest. Lower the left leg so it hovers. It's kind of hard. If that hurts your back, you can bend the left knee and place the sole of the left foot on the floor. It is option for everybody. Circle both ankles one way, circle on the other way. Now lower the left leg all the way down to the ground. Draw the right knee further into the chest. Draw the right knee out to the side and pull it in. Draw the right knee back to center. Extend the right arm out to the side like a T. Now we find the twist. So you're going to bring the right knee down to the left. Twist. And pull the knee into the chest. Half happy baby. So the sole of the right foot's going to be parallel to the sky. Right hand's going to grab a hold of the inner arch of the right foot. That's it. Uh, left, other hand, right hand. That's it. Yep. And now bend the right knee a little more. Bend, bend, bend. Yeah, that's supposed to be it. Oh, yeah. Hamstring stretch. Draw the knee back into the chest. Give it a tug. Nose the knees. Give it a tug. Beautiful. Left knee into the chest. Circle left ankle one way. Circle left the other way. So nice. Left arm out to the side like a T. 
Let's find the twist. Left knee to the right. Come back to center, left knee into the chest, then left knee out to the side. Unfit. Left knee back to the center, half happy baby. Full happy baby. Lock from side to side. You want to take a moment or so. Straightening both legs out to the side with the hands on the calves or the thighs, or if they can stay on the feet, that's fine. Right? You're going to flex and point and circle the ankles. Or you can grab a hold of the feet. If you can grab a hold of the feet, your hands stay on your feet. Back to happy baby variation. Knees into the chest, nose to the knee, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then unfurl, let it go. So if there's a pose that I missed for you, or you're like, oh, darn, you didn't do pigeon, feel free to spend the next minute doing pigeon. I know Kathy likes inversions. If you want to do just lie down, I, I get up and talk. You don't do as I do, you do as I say. <laughs> if you're ready for Shavasana, you head there. If you need a finishing pose, you take it. Last minute or so. Please feel free to take a finishing pose. That could be more backbending, could be an inversion, okay? whatever you need. Deep belly breaths. Grab you guys. I'm just going to find my phone somewhere. Here it is. If you're in Shavasana, I'm going to talk you through a little Shavasana. It's all about the breath. Take a deep breath in. Side out. Uh, make some noise. It's about quieting the fluctuations of the mind by shifting your awareness to your breath. And it, it actually it, it takes work. Right? Attention and focus to the breath. Shavasana inhale. Let it go exhale. Ah. Oh, yes, this is not the space. You know that. Number four, come, come on. Let everything go. If you're in Shavasana, you're letting go of everything. You're letting your body sink and get heavy. And then you're just noticing the sounds around you. Not focusing on your thoughts or your monkey mind. You're focusing on the sounds around you. How still you can be. Lack of movement allows you to get deeper into the deeper layers of the body.
by making circular movements with the fingers and the toes and the hips and the ankles. And coming back to the surface slowly, gradually, back to the physical plane. And with your arms overhead for the third breath, stretching from fingertips and tips to the arm and the back, reach to the reach. Draw your knees to the chest. Take a moment here, don't be in a hurry. And roll on to the right hand side in the fetal position. And take a moment to feel how good it is to be grounded, to be close to the earth, to the ground, as solid as the earth, as connected. And then press yourself up to a comfortable sitting position with your eyes closed and sit up. Head over your tailbone, your shoulders, your hips. A moment to just to be, to see what it's like just to be. With no agenda. Bending your hands to your palms together. We bring our palms to our forehead, our third eye. And we take a moment to be grateful for the blessings in our lives and to acknowledge the the work that we've done of showing up and working on becoming a better human being. And then we bring our hand to our forehead, to our third eye, and we take a moment here just to acknowledge the blessings in our lives, the ability to be humble, to have compassion, to show up for ourselves and others. And then we bring our palms to our mouth, Take a moment to acknowledge that our words are very powerful. They can do harm or they can create sanctuary. They can be very powerful. Food has the same powerful effect. And we bring our hands to our heart center. We take a moment to be grateful for our connection to source, our ability to give love, to feel love, to be connected to the love in our lives. May there be peace in our hearts. May there be peace in our homes. May there be peace in the world. Namaste. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for today. You're welcome. Good to see you guys. Have a great Sunday. Oh, I love you all. <laughs>